Hello, I'm Cedric West. I'm the owner of CS West and Associates PA. I am a certified public accountant as well as a QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor. I do help small businesses and self-employed all across the United States. And I'm here to show you how to create a credit memo. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is select the plus icon here. You're going to select where it says credit memo. And as soon as the credit memo open, let's go ahead and choose the customer that we want to apply the credit memo to. For, for, this, for this purposes, we're going to choose Amy's Bird Sanctuary. We're going to make sure the bill address is correct. We're going to look at the date of the credit memo, make sure that date is correct. Crew number you could put in, for example, five if you're going to use this field or not. And then what I need to do is, is to go ahead and select the service or the product that I'm going to create the memo. I'm going to use this as an example. Refund. You can put whatever description that you want to here. Then how many you will put in the quantity and what's the rate for this one slab or for this um, for this purposes I'm, I'm just put it in um, $740 um, it is tax so in this case um, the, the amount hello I'm Cedric West I am the owner of CS West and Associates PA I am a certified public accountant as well as a QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor, and we help small businesses and self-employed all across the United States. So today, for this lesson, we're going to I'm going to show you how to create a credit memo. It's very easy, simple steps, and I'm here to show you exactly how to do that. First thing we would do, you would see the dash the dashboard screen. I will select the plus icon, select credit memo. And as soon as I enter up, once that enter up, you have your, your input where to, uh, to choose the customer that you want to give the credit memo to. As soon as I select the customer, for example, this is Amy Spurred, making sure the information is correct, what date I want to use. I want to make a credit on the 9th or I could choose, I could use today's date. Normally, it's going to be the, the date that, um, that you actually create the memo on. Then here I'm going to choose the product or the service. This is for designing, custom design. I'm going to put in a description here. Customer didn't like the design, so she decided to go ahead and refund the design. So what I did, I put in the quantity. There's only one design I did at a rate of $75. And you will see here, this is the amount to refund. Now here, if you have your taxes set up, you can choose the state uh, for, for this purposes and for this example. California here is 8%, Tuscan is 9.10%. And if this is taxable, I will go ahead and select where it says taxable and you will see that this total amount here has been refund. But for this purposes, I'm not going to choose um, tax. You have your message displayed on the credit memo. You can customize this message here. You have a memo here for your purposes. And if you want to add in any attachments, emails, for example, to show proof or the reason why they want to, um, or, or the reason why you're issuing a credit memo, you can enter or drag and drop um, the attachment there. If you're gonna give a discount percentage or discount value, you could put that information here. For example, if I'm going to do a 2%, you see only decrease it uh, by that amount, or if I'm going to do the actual value, I could do that as well. And so what I would do, I would select save and send to send to Amy, or I could select save and close if I if I choose not to, to send it to the customer. Now, once you select save and close, it's going to take it right back to the dashboard. Now, to see where this credit memo went to, you will select sales, customer, 
and I will choose Amy. And right here, you're going to see the credit memo that I have just completed. Now, the thing is with the credit memo, what it's going to do um, is the credit memo will be applied to the oldest invoice that you have. So uh, whatever, the, whatever the oldest invoice that you have, that amount would be, well, actually the most recent invoice, excuse me, um, that you would have that memo or that credit memo would be applied to that invoice. And that's all. So um, definitely take this tip, uh, take this, this, the tools that I have given you, and you all have a great day. Thank you.